Hey, Nixie. Hey, Dave. Hey, have you heard about the Patton Oswald situation? No, I have not, Dave. Why don't well, you tell me about it? I shall indeed. If you <laughs> needed another reason to just loathe and detest Patton Oswald. By the way, Nixie, do you know who Patton Oswald is? I just, I, I do know him, but I can't think of why I know him. He's, I know he's the voice for the dog in Secret Life of Pets 2, because the first guy was... <laughs> no, no, you're not going to give him a fucking voice credit and not be the voice credit for what he's actually fucking known for. He's Ratatouille! Yes, he's right to it. Yes. You know, that's the one you got to give him. You, you went to a fucking movie. I can't even remember what you said. The Nobody Secret Life of the Pets. What's that? Nobody knows what that is. <gasps> Everybody knows, Nobody what, that knows is. what that is. No, it's one of those new ones. Nobody knows those new ones. Well. <laughs> Anywho, what did he do? So, well, I, I don't like him anyway because he's a pretentious dickhole. But he was also on King of Queens. Uh, he's, he's everywhere. He's a writer. He's done a lot of different things. Many, many, many. Oh, many, he many. was on uh, Two and a Half Men when it had uh, less uh, Charlie Sheen in it. Oh, the the Ashton, Ashton years. Ashton. The, the Ashton, Ashton years. years. Those <laughs> wonderful Ashton years. Um, so he's he's had a lot of folk, but he's a fucking woke asshole. All right, just straight uh-huh. up. His his wife unfortunately died. Uh, of cancer and he kind of used like i feel he used it to exploit he he exploited her a little bit after death but you could also walk the line because his wife was like a criminologist and she wrote these fucking books about it, it's a really interesting fucking story as much as i can't stand him personally he's lived an interesting fucking life and he's had some interesting things happen to him but i digress that has nothing to do with anything what happened uh the, what's going on right now aside from him once again being a fucking idiot Yep. Yes, big time. So uh, New Year's Eve just happened. I don't know if you knew that or not. Did you, were you aware that really? New Year's Eve happened? Yeah. No, God yeah, damn. A couple days God ago. Me. Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Crazy, right? So <laughs> uh, Dave Chappelle yep. was having a a huge uh, comedy event. You know, he's doing doing his thing, and Pat Oswald was a guest because they've known each other for a long time. You know. Mm-hmm. So they, they've been friends for over 30 years, I think 34 years. And uh, so he goes and he takes pictures with uh, Patton or with, uh, with Dave. And then boom. The fucking boom. world fights on. What do you think happens? Patton Oswald gets absolutely obliterated. Obliterated. Oh. Obliterated because of the Dave Chappelle yes. shit that happened for just being friends with Dave Chappelle for just going for just attending for th- uh, that, that that is what he's getting taken apart for right. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? What would you do if a thirty-four year friendship was getting you in, in, in this type of situation? Well, what would you your stand morals? By your friends. Do you? I mean, if you believe, if you if you genuinely believe in what their cause was, and you think that they have the right to their opinion, then yeah, why why wouldn't why wouldn't you? Well, ask Pat Oswald because he apologized. He he, oh. he he bowed, he fucking bowed, and just raised that ass cheeks up and fucking put out this. He see Pat Oswald's a king of saying a ton of fucking words without saying he just doesn't say nothing. He just says mm-hmm. words and words and words, and nothing actually gets fucking stated. You, you, you learn nothing from listening to fucking Patton Oswalt. And he goes on this long fucking diatribe that I, if I were better at my job, I would read. But I honestly just don't want to fucking read it again. Because it's nauseating to read. To me, it's nauseating. Yeah. The, 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 uh, the fact that you have to write something like this, the fact that you have to publicly show your asshole and, and determine if it's clean or not, to these fucking cretins that are now determining if you have a job, if you're working in Hollywood. These fucking cucks are so afraid of losing anything that they will fucking publicly apologize for being a friend of somebody and and taking a picture with them. Why? Because what did Dave say? Did he ever say he hates trans people? 
Has he ever, ever fucking advocated for people to take any type of vengeance or, or, or hold back of rights or liberties from anybody? Let alone just trans, gays, lesbians, or anyone else in that alphabet? What are we talking about anymore? I'm sorry if I'm getting actually mad, but I am. Because this is fucking ridiculous. People are treating friends of Dave Chappelle's like he's fucking Charlie Manson. Like you should be ashamed to know it. To get That's paid for This is nuts, Nixie. I'm sorry if I'm that, overreacting, but this pisses me is, the fuck off. That's... Where that's the world. We, that's the world we live in now. There is no. There is no room for anyone to have any other opinion than what is mainstream. What Where is, is like? What is the woke opinion? Like what? When it's, <laughs> uh, it just it, it's agitating. It's, it's it's agitating to try to talk logically through it because no matter how you try to approach the situation, you're an asshole for standing against anything anyone ever says ever. It's anyone who knows who Patton Oswalt is, anyone who's ever like heard him talk, knows he's a liberal. Knows he's fucking woke. Knows he fucking supports all the letters. He supports mm -hmm. everything. He's a fucking shill. He wants to know, he wants everyone to know that they're special and he supports them. He, he openly does it. He's a whore. And everyone knows it. So he doesn't need to make a post, a tweet, or anything clarifying his stance simply because he fucking tweeted with Dave. Or he, he, he did a show with Dave. He took a picture with Dave. To me, that is a stab in the back to Dave Chappelle. That is a spit in the eye of the... Th the fact that he references in the tweet that they've been friends for 34 fucking years irritates me to no fucking end. What's the point of it if you're tweeting about it? Mm -hmm. In that manner, it makes no sense to me. Pat Oswald's a fucking moron, and I'm just tired of it. He, it like, the shit. This is the same guy who Norm is playing. And by the way, Norm didn't make this up about this idiot. He, there's other clips of him saying it. That the worst thing about the Bill Cosby situation was the hypocrisy. Which Norm had to fucking remind him, no, I think it was the rape. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god. If you have to point that out. Oh. Come on. Like he tries to make points to which there's no sense to make the point. It's like, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put myself in a real tricky, trappy situation just to see if I can get out of it. It's like the equivalent mm -hmm. of a bear going, yeah, I see that bear trap right there, but I don't know, man. I'm pretty strong. I know I got caught in it the last time, but I mean, I got more fur this time. The muscles are stronger. I know these other type of moves to get my, my, my nails in there. This will be all right. I'm going to just test myself. That's, that's the equivalent. Uh, I... Mm. It's just that's it's ridiculous to me. You don't have to I, try I have to a be... So I have a personal hatred for... for hatred i have a personal problem like... with people that try to that people that try to seem important by saying lots of things but saying nothing at the same time uh. or like coming across like they do a lot when they really don't do don't very do much shit. like i have a massive problem with people like that it bugs the shit out of me yeah it, it's annoying i to the point to the extent that I, I purposely try to self-sabotage my own self-accomplishments. <laughs> like, that's, that's how bad it is. Because like, it is an annoying thing. You don't need to always be self-important. You don't always need to, to make everything else about yourself. So what if people ripped on you, Patton? So what? You're a comedian, dude. That, like, I, yeah. I'm going to strip everything else away for a second. I'm going to talk to him because I, I fancy myself a comedian. Whether or not I actually am, I'll leave that up. Do you laugh? Then I am. If you know, I'm an asshole. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I also could be both. In fact, uh -huh. I will admit that I openly am both. I think sometimes to be a great comedian, you have to be an asshole, too. Agree. So. Agree. Uh, like, Patton, this is your job. You, you've made money off of... You've been in roasts, bud. You've literally appeared on Comedy Central roasts of comedians. You said horrendous things, and I would never expect you to apologize for the things that you've said in the name of entertainment. 
in the name of jokes because I know that you know that you're not meaning anything by it. And I understand that the life that you've had and the things that you've gone through and, 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 and stuff has led you maybe to, down different paths and different rationale of thinking. But I bet you're still cashing the checks of the royalties from all those projects in the past, aren't you, bud? And I don't give a fuck if, if you donate them to, to the cause after. There's other ways. Make a real stance. Make a real fucking change. But you can't do that. You won't do that. And you shouldn't do that. That's not a challenge. That's a, it's just a fucking point to try to click something here. It's your fucking job. Unless you meant it. Unless you fucking have something to be ashamed of. Then apologize. But deal with the consequences of that. Because then you're a bigot. Until then, you're not. So stop acting like one. Don't apologize. Don't fucking stab your friend of 34 years in his neck, balls, and stomach because you're a coward. Because you're afraid of losing what you have. Because that's what this is about. It's about nothing else. It's not about support. It's not. It's about you afraid of not being able to make Ratatouille fucking seven. It's about you not being able to star in the life of Pets 5. <laughs> You're a self-serving douche. You're a douche. Stop being a self-serving douche. And stand up for the things that you have practiced in the past yourself. You self-serving douche. Nixie, please, I've spoke too much. <laughs> I've spoken too much. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing about comedy. Is the whole the thing is, is that if if you're doing it for the sake of entertainment and for comedy, then everyone should be included and everyone is involved, and no one group should feel attacked, you know. But when... sometimes they will, though. But that's not the fault of the comedian, you know. Obviously, that's, like the it's... things that Dave Chappelle said. Obviously, there's going to be people, not all trans people, as there've been so many that spoke out, of, uh, spoke out in in favor of him and laughed openly with him, including the fucking poor woman who would end up taking her own life. You know, uh, you you don't have to turn it into a fucking self attack like he was saying it to you. you you have every right to not be happy with it but that's part of the fucking that's part of life i think i've always liked jokes about fucking uh, uh, polish people or other things that are that are sensitive no but i don't complain about them because you don't that's comedy that's how it works you're watching a comedic show and if you haven't mm -hmm. seen the show and are just being mad well then you're really in the wrong yeah I mean, you can't you can't tell an offensive joke without offending somebody, unless you want to end offensive comedy, and that includes all jokes. That, that I'm, I'm like any any offensive type of joke, any type of joke that references one type of group. That's Polish jokes, that's Jewish jokes, Chinese jokes, white jokes, all of them, gone. Your mama jokes, gone. Has anyone ever really meant a your mama joke? No, you take away your mama jokes, you take away the fucking livelihood of Nick Cannon. Well, maybe we should do that after all. I mean, we'll still live off of fucking Mariah Carey's residuals somehow. Fucking whore. That's another You know one. what, though? You know where we're heading with where? comedy? We're heading to uh, the, the Jimmy future. Show. Yeah, Everyone we're heading. In the future. <laughs> you, see, you see the kind of jokes that they had Jimmy doing in yep. the future? That's that. where we're heading. That's where we're heading. If we don't, if we don't have the the comedic freedoms, I mean, I you know, there's still things that are like, oof, no, I I really would rather not like make jokes about certain. But things. then don't. That's fine. That I won't. And th and if someone says a joke around me that I don't agree with, I'm not gonna think it's funny, and I'm just gonna be like, eh, you know, whatever. But no, I do that... think it's okay to talk to the person, and if you know the person. I think it's totally yeah. okay to talk to them privately, but to do it publicly, I think it's just self-serving. I think you're, you're, you're just trying to, to profit in one way or another off of a situation that you don't need to. Mm -hmm. But that's just me. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm totally with you on it. It's like you, you, of course, can always be offended over something. No one's ever telling you not to be offended. That's, that's insane. But there's, there's ways to deal with it. And this ain't it. This ain't the one yeah. there, son. Yeah, did, yeah. Did, 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 did you hear the one about the <laughs> Chinese airlines? They were efficient and very, very well nice people. Wonderful, wonderful people. Fantastic people. Fantastic people. 
Uh, that's the that's where we're heading, Dave. That's where we're heading. That's, well, we're kind of already there. Have you seen the state of late night? It's fucking terrible. <laughs> but that's what happens, you know. That's that's where we're heading, and it's it's scary. It is. Scary. The future is gonna <laughs> just be so bland. The future so is gonna suck. The future is so bland. So we bland. have to sing everything. Sing. All right. There you go, YouTube. There's your clip of the day. End transmission.